Good morning everyone! I'm Teacher Jardson and welcome to your research video lesson. For a start, let me share a few things about me. Do you know that I can set paper and fire with magnifying glass at night? <laughs> While learning CPR, I brought the practice dummy to life. I can also start fire by rubbing two ice cubes together. I can also make onions cry. I have already been on Mars, that's why there are no signs of life. <laughs> and I have tried digging the ground once and never tried again. One Mariana Trench is enough. <laughs> Suppose these are assumptions or hypotheses. You would ask me to show proof on the following. I can imagine you sitting on your chair right now exclaiming, Sampo, Sampo, Sampo. In the case of quantitative research hypothesis, you would be needing the power of statistical tools. So today, we're going to plan for the data analysis using parametric statistical tools. Specifically, you have to differentiate various tools and decide which one to use given a specific research question. This part completes the chapter on research design and methodology. To facilitate our discussion, let's play text twist at the same time. You will be given jumbled letters to arrange to unlock the word which we will talk about. For example, Yelsanis. That's right, analysis. Hope you got it. First parametric statistical tool is Spectrodives. Can you guess the right name of the tool? You're right! It's descriptive. Under descriptive statistics, we have mean, median, or mode, frequency, and ranking. Your purpose when using this tool is to describe the set of data. This is suitable to questions starting with what and which. For example, what is the level of learner's preference in the different learning modalities? Next example, which coping mechanism in the new normal is preferred most by the learners? Final one, what is the academic performance of grade 11 learners in laboratory-based subjects during the print modular learning? I believe those are sufficient research question examples under descriptive statistics. Next word to unlock, see Defrefen. Bingo! Did I hear difference? We use t-test on paired means or t-test on difference of two means when comparing two sets of data. The research question generally starts with is there or any question answerable by yes or no that involves comparison of two sets of data. Let's have t-test on paired means first. If I were to obtain grade 11 learners weight before the pandemic and same set of learners after a year of the pandemic, would there be a difference? This clearly falls under t-test on paired means because same set of participants were taken data twice. Everything that compares pre-test to the post-test or before and after requires t-test on paired means. For instance, is there a difference in the number of active COVID cases in the different barangays of Mankayan before and after the Christmas break? Next example, is there a difference in the sales of bakeries around Mankayan before and during the pandemic? Notice that we have the keywords before and after and before and during that denote the need for the statistical tool t-test on paired means. This time, Let's talk about t-test on difference of two means. We use such test when comparing two sets of data coming from two distinct participants. For example, differentiating the number of medals garnered by TVL and Hume's learners in an athletic meet, or the number of medals obtained by STEM and GAS learners in a science and math fair. These cases deal with two different tracks or strands Unlike the earlier t-test, which measures the same set of participants twice. 
So much for the t-test on paired means and t-test on difference of two means. Next word to decipher, Avano. Is it a little bit difficult? Our magic word here is ANOVA. We use such tests when differentiating three or more sets of data. For example, comparing the typing speed of GAS, Humes, STEM, and TVL learners when using the computer. Or perhaps, the reading speed of the four tracks or strands in a particular literary piece. To conclude, when our purpose is to determine the difference, we may use t-test on paired means and t-test on difference of two means when we have two sets of data, while ANOVA when comparing three or more sets of data. Are you ready for the last word? The last word to unlock is NOCRATELERO. Did it ring any bell? You're right, it's correlation. This determines the existence and strength of relationship of variables. For instance, the relationship of learners and Kai result and choice of track are probably the relationship that exists between mental health of learners and their schoolwork productivity. The research question, is there a correlation between the learners' compliance in passing the modules and their general average falls under correlation and shall be treated using person R or person product moment coefficient of correlation. We may use PPMCC or person R so that it will not sound like a tongue twister. In general, our purpose dictates our tool. When describing, use descriptive statistics like mean, frequency, and ranking. When differentiating, Use t-test on paired means, t-test on independent means, or ANOVA. When correlating on the other hand, use person R or PPMCC. By the way, these tools will be our options provided that we have 15 participants per set of data or at least we have ordinal level of data. Otherwise, we make use of their non-parametric counterparts which we will discuss next meeting. Aren't you confused of the tools? Let's give it a try. Given the definition or a specific research question, identify which tool to use. Draw the letter in the air that corresponds to your answer. A for descriptive statistics, B for t-test on paired means, C for t-test on difference of two means, D for ANOVA, and E for person R. Don't forget our legend! Number 1. What test to use when comparing means of two different groups? Did you draw C in the air? That's right! It's t-test on difference of two means because we are involving two different groups for the first item. Next one. What test to use when comparing means of scores obtained by a single group after two sets of tests. I saw you draw B. And that is right. It's t-test on paired means. Because we have a single group that took two sets of tests. It's like pre-test and post-test. Number 3. What test to use when reporting for the average? And that's right, big letter A, descriptive statistics because we're asked to report for the average. It could either be the mean, median, or mode. Next number, what test to use given the research question, is there a difference in the behavior of learners when they were in junior high school and now that they're in senior high school? Did you draw B in the air? Of course, it's t-test on paired means because we're comparing the behavior of learners when they were in junior high school and now that they're in senior high school. Number 5. Are there differences in the blood pressures of grades 7, 8, and 9 learners after a sports activity? I saw you draw D in the air and that is correct. It's ANOVA 
because we're comparing three grade levels of learners, 7, 8, and 9. Number 6. Are males better in mathematics than females? For number 6, we are comparing completely two different groups. So we should be using what test? That's right, it's letter C, t-test on difference of two means. Number 7. Is there a relationship between the interests of the students and the strands or tracks they have chosen? For the last item, it requires the letter E or person R because we are looking for the relationship not to differentiate nor to describe the data. I saw that your handwriting in the air is more legible than your handwriting on paper. Just kidding! <laughs> How many correct letters did you draw? I suppose you made at least five. Now try completing the following lines to strengthen your understanding. In your opinion, learning statistical tools is... You learned also that we had to consider our... When planning for data analysis. When describing the data, we can use such as mean and ranking. When differentiating, we can choose from and alright. When looking for the relationship, we could use You may pause the video if you needed more time in completing the lines. Then play when you're ready for the quiz. Since you continued playing, I suppose you're ready for the quiz. Bring out your activity notebook and research, then write the letter that corresponds to your answer. Given a research question, identify the needed statistical tool. Let's use the same legend during the activity a while back. A for descriptive statistics, B for t-test on paired means, C for t-test on difference of two means, D for ANOVA, and E for person R. Enjoy! The first one is, After home visitation, was there a difference in the compliance of learners in their self-learning modules? Number 2. Which is the most effective technique in memorizing? Mnemonic making, putting the words in a song, or color coding? Number three, are there differences in the level of perceptions of the learners in the four strands regarding the song Manok na Pula? Number four, do mean heights of the two sections differ after a different diet regimens? Let's have the final item. What is the relationship of learner's grade in English and grade in research? I believe we are all ready to check your answers. The first one is P-test on paired means. That's correct. The second one, you're right. It's descriptive statistics. And number three, Bingo! You got it. It's ANOVA. Number 4. Wow! Another correct answer. T-test on independent means. And the fifth one is... I can't believe it. You got them all correct. It's person R. For the enrichment activity, complete your research capsule. The one that we've been completing after every lesson. Now... Fill the last column with statistical tools based on your research questions and pass your capsule on the next schedule of SLM retrieval and delivery. This has been a meaningful video lesson with you. Hope you had a good time. Take care and God bless. Goodbye!